Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by Hotel Vermont and New England Federal Credit Union. My name's Ava Saulberger. We are here at the UVM Wheelock Farm in South Burlington. Today we are spending the afternoon with Jacques Paul Martin, also known as JP. I started building these cairns to see if I could get people to respond and people come to the field and add little rocks and even create their own cairns, which was the whole idea. This is the motto of the field here. The motto is live to know and everyone has that uh, ability. So this is really a gift every human being can give to themselves. Jacques has been working on the rock sculptures here in this field for the past six years. This has become quite a popular spot. It's also brought this little community here together. Children come out with their parents, all ages. He has met people from all different walks of life where beautiful stories have been told out here. There are neighboring homes. There are people who live around here who interact and are just as much part of the, uh, the scene that's happening here. All kinds of wonderful things happen, really magical things, I would say. This is Cooper. He's the one that found the first rock. I didn't know who it was when, at first because I, I started hiking through and I saw these incredible rock cairns. Because I'm really interested in designing with nature and the work that I do as an ecologist, it really spoke to me. And then I put the pieces together, I realized that JP worked at the Davis Center. So yeah, I'm a custodian at the Dudley H. Davis Center. This field of dreams, it's really like a living classroom, I would say, living and learning. And they've had students come to the field for scything demonstrations. And now he's working with our first year UVM students to teach them about the tool. This is the soil here in the Wheelock field. The geology here is fascinating. I teach natural history. And so we're on an ancient beach of the Champlain Sea that was here 13,000 years ago. It's exciting, all the rocks that were kind of part of that beach. JP is making use of in these incredible sculptures, that are cultivating a sense of place here. I actually had to roll this down the hill. I wanted people to see that. You can see the plow marks. Yeah, we live over in Stonehenge in the condos. There's a path, well-worn. This is part of UVM Southern Campus. It's the College of Ag and Life Sciences. These were remnants of the Wheelock family. They sold it to the University of Vermont. Well, this is a valuable place uh, right in the middle of South Burlington because it reflects the agricultural heritage of this region. South Burlington's developing. This is a little bit of a kind of a throwback in time when the, all of South Burlington landscape was farms. This area uh, of Cairns, this grouping here, is called the Rascals. And my daughter named them a little artifact here. It looks like it was part of an axle. These boulders here are another, other erratics that have, were just here. We built, the community built these cairns on top of these boulders. I think it was when Jacques turned 55 and he started to spend really long periods of time out here. You're the guy that is doing this. I said, yeah, is, it, is that okay? I don't know why I'm doing this. It just seems natural and uh, I'm trying to really engage people, see what cool kinds of rocks we have here. So it probably took the better part of a year before he let himself be discovered. But I just kept on building these cairns and uh, became a part of me. There was a whole nother installation down here when he started, he may have told you. Had a neighbor had a concern that they were too tall and dangerous, so Jacques himself took them down. People really supported him and he started again. And with that, 
people in the community started again. So it's really become a community thing, which was always his dream. Really, if there was any kind of agenda, it was for me to just see and meet uh, the community and let them know I'm here, let them know about this, this beautiful gift from the University of Vermont. The pieces are incorporated from all the elements that were in this field, the Wheelock field from years of farming. You can see that the farm equipment right here Really cool looking. It's a beautiful field and a beautiful setting, but the rock cairns and the found art, you know, all this old agricultural implements that JP has woven into the site have given it just a really unique sense of place that you don't really see in other places. The nick marks on the plows. And actually, it looks very artistic. <laughs> but. This is, this is uh, how these rocks were brought up from the underground up into the field. And the South Burlington bike trail weaves in amongst the forests and the streams here. It's remarkably beautiful. So I think it's become, you know, for the immediate neighborhood right, right here, it's become a real gem. Hanging on on the top here. We met at our church. We were teenagers, actually. I looked up at the choir, and I saw this young woman. He had this European look. <laughs> a light, this metallic light, just kind of uh, surrounded her. The rest is history, so. And you just had a wedding anniversary? Yes, 37 years. I was diagnosed with uh, you know, clinical depression, and I had to spend quite a bit of time in several different facilities, and Wendy had to endure that. 20 years of our marriage, uh, I was uh, always in intensive therapy and uh, getting my life back together. Maybe this, these past 10 years, I found Shelburne Farms, I found Vermont. I started to grow again. It uh, became imperative for me to once again pick up where my parents left off and meet interesting people, people who had a passion for life and I've met so many of these people in the field. You know, Jacques has said he's been accused of being a dreamer. I think that's a beautiful thing, honestly. I think that all of us stand to be able to dream a little more, open our hearts to others and to nature. Nature is a real healer. I think it's a healer for Jacques. JP is a remarkable guy. And I think after interacting with him, people realize that he he has something special to share with the world. He's an artist, he's a philosopher, he's a renaissance man, I think, and he's a great, great human being. So this field has given a lot to him, I would say, and I think he's given a lot to the field. This is the wishing well for peace, for world peace, and when the wind hits the rock, even just touches it slightly, you can make a wish. Thanks for a great afternoon, Jacques, and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and sign up for our weekly email alerts. Okay, bye. Here's a, oh my God. a thank you card from the University of Vermont. Oh my God. This is a little, something a little I excavated from the ground. Wow. Typical French. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna go drink this right now. And uh, oh. so, number 500, oh. vive la France. I'm gonna save this, Brut have this. Comte. Once we're done, done, we're going to open this on Friday when we finish our week of shooting. All right.